Hello beautiful souls! I am Valeria Moritza here at Healing Through You. I came here today because, uh, well first of all I haven't been here in a while and probably because I didn't have electricity for about three days which was amazing. Yes, it was hot. Yes, it was uh, stormy. It was um, a little bit difficult. Lots of things happening in my world. However, they seem so far away and the reason they seem so far away is because I'm able to move through things so quickly, right? So something happens and it's like, oh, here it is in your face. And then you're past it, right? You're past the, the, the thing. And I wanted to bring you a little bit of that peace because this is what happens when you're doing the work. This is what happens when you go within. Um, I had a friend, I was telling her, I was up updating her. Hi, Jessica, on all the things that were happening. Um, I had a couple of things scheduled I, because I didn't have internet or uh, electricity. I didn't uh, realize I had these things uh, scheduled. So I don't know, it was like a lot of things happening. My dog was barking. But the thing is, I was sharing what was happening with a friend of mine and she was reflecting it back. She's like, oh, this, oh, that, oh, that's a lot, that's a lot. And I'm thinking, I'm feeling like, yeah, I get, that is a lot, that is a lot. But because I'm in the moment, because I'm going through this and now I'm dealing with that and now I'm dealing with this other thing, I am not accumulating um, how much of it it was. Does that make sense? And so it didn't feel like it was so much because I wasn't accumulating. I, was, I wasn't feeling like it's all of these things together. I was feeling like this happened and now this happened and now this happened. So all of those things seemed to me as separate and as, as I was moving through one by one. Anyway, so um, I have internet back, yay. I have air conditioning back, yay, <laughs> all of those things. But what was coming through because I wanted to come today to do light card readings, however, um, what I was shown was that what was needed was more of a healing because it's not just me going through things, right? Everybody's going through stuff. Everybody's upgrading and releasing and moving through things and stuff's showing up for them. And because of that, what they were showing me was to bring some healing to, to the space. And so I'm going to do an energy healing, which I have not done in a long time. I usually have been doing them through Zoom so that you can have that intimate moment, but this is all spare of the moment, all like just happening now. So because of that, I'm just going to do it. And if you're catching it right now, amazing. If you're gonna catch it later, like in your, uh, in your now, in my future, perfect. It always works out anyway. And this is going to be a really strong, um, healing to help you move through things faster right so it's kind of like being presented with the uh, with what's the word um with the challenge being presented with a challenge and then my hair's bothering here um being presented with a challenge and then being able to face it and then moving through it releasing it right and this is going to be so helpful because the rest of this year is just going to be more of what we've been feeling in this month of July. So this month of July has been expansive. A lot of things are happening. Movement is just going like everywhere, right? Everywhere you see it in, on social media, in your personal life, you see it everywhere. So things are moving and changing and the changes are coming with a lot of, um, challenges and the easier it is for you to move through them to see them to face them to release them then you're ready and prepare for the next one and it doesn't accumulate right it doesn't become this big thing that is like a big ball that you can no longer swallow so um that's what this healing is going to be about today i'm going to be teaching you some of the things i have taught these things before but i'm going to be showing you again just in case you're new here um so that you're able to release the, en the, the energy of whatever is presented towards you and to turn that into love and light, which is what and who you are. All right, so here we go. Are you guys ready? Um, I see Jessica here, so thank you for being here and you're on the live. I mean, you're in the present, on my present. So thank you for um, sharing this space with me. We're going to start by taking a couple of deep breaths in. So take a deep breath in through your nose and release through your mouth. 
I'm going to stick two more of that in. And exhale. One last one. Inhale. And exhale all the way out. Now I want you to imagine that you have a golden core attached to your root chakra. That is the space right between your hips uh, where your legs meet your torso. And from there, watch this golden core come down and go all the way to the center of the earth, gathering itself and wrapping itself at the center of the earth. And while it is wrapping itself like a coil at the center of the earth, what you are doing is you are harvesting, yes, the energy from the earth and you're seeing this coil become hotter and stronger and more vibrant. And now bring the energy up through the core, all the way through all the layers of the earth. Allow it to reach your root chakra and connect there again. And then move that energy up your center body. So just like a right in the center of your body, like the spinal column or the center of you, just moving all the way up, exiting through your crown and connecting with divine light above. And now, hmm, imagine a golden sun right in front of your heart chakra and another one right behind your heart chakra. So that's in front of your chest, behind your chest. And now allow this sun to pull away from your body, from your energetic body, from your physical body, anything and everything that it no longer serves you. This will be like all thoughts, ideas, beliefs. And allow all of that, it could be heart feeling, something that happened today perhaps that made you feel not as good or not happy. And remove and release all of these feelings out. They're being pulled from your bodies forward and backwards, allowing these energies that are no longer serving you to be burned up in the sun in the energy of the sun, feeling lighter, feeling just really light, as <laughs> I'm feeling really light, like literally light. <laughs> Good, and now sending the sun up to space somewhere, both of these suns, the one in front, the one behind, and just sending them up far, far away, as if there were stars, stars far away in the galaxy. And now I'm gonna ask you to open up your crown chakra Imagine you have a sunflower uh, sitting on top of your head and all of its petals open upwards and outside to allow divine light to begin filling in your body and allow this divine light to begin to go to all the places that you just emptied, all those spaces from where that energy just left your body. It's going there first and it's filling those spaces up with love and light, with divine light. And it's also spreading to the rest of your body, to the other parts of your human body, your energetic body. And it's just filling it up with beautiful divine light. It's healing you from the inside out. And it's giving you that spark of feeling healed is what I'm getting. Right? So allow the energy to heal your body from the inside out especially your heart when we're having um, difficulties loving ourselves and loving who we are. So especially that part, allow this energy to help you feel loved, feel perfect because you are perfect. You're amazing. You're wonderful. You're perfect in every way. And I know your mind now is going to all the parts that you are judging about yourself or that you have been judging about yourself. And what the angels want you to know, because where I'm connected to the angels right now, is there's nothing wrong with you. You're perfect. You are absolutely perfect. Just the way you are exactly in this moment. Love all of you, every part of you, who you are, your thoughts, your ideas, your decisions, how you look, all of you, all of you. You're just absolutely beautiful and perfect in this moment. Allow yourself to feel that love. Good. 
good. And now I'm just going to um, begin to send you energy and this energy is being sent to you uh, in the form of the figure eight of the infinite sign. And I'm just projecting this energy field towards you, connecting you to the higher self of you, to the God part of you, to the creator part of you, connecting you to that point of creation, which is where you exist, where you belong, where you create everything from. So imagine that you are in this dark space, like a dark bubble, and you're inside of it. But more than that, you are the bubble. You are this dark space. You're there. And nothing exists here, nothing, until you create it. And it's in this moment and in this space of creation that you get to choose what type of life you want to have, you want to experience, you get to look forward. And it's from this place that you feed the energy of the universe and bring forward to your reality what you're creating. So you know the phrase, thoughts become things, you create what you're thinking, the visualization boards, all of those stuff. So all of that begins here in this space of darkness, in this space of nothingness, where you and only you, meaning your consciousness, your higher self, your God self, exists. And from here, you begin to imagine. So right now, I want you to imagine yourself being a superhero, any superhero that you resonate with, that you like, that you love, that you look up to, anyone. He could be an actual superhero, like from a cartoon, or he could be a person that you look up to as a hero. And then imagine yourself as this superhero with their powers, with their resilience, their knowing, their sense of heroism, their selflessness, and now imagine yourself here with those powers. What would you do? What would you do if you had this ability of creating the life that you want? And so in this moment, see yourself creating and seeing yourself in the place that you want to be. And it can be where you want to be tonight or tomorrow or the end of the week or in the end of the year, or in 10 years, or whatever it is that's coming up for you, choose that vision of where you're going. Where are you going? And choose something that makes you feel happy and excited and joyful and loving and just brimming with joy. And how you know that you're actually imagining this beautiful space is because you're going to feel a smile show up on your face right now as you're imagining it. You're going to feel your mouth move up. You're going to feel your cheeks moving towards that smile because you are living in this moment that creation that you are creating. So that's how you know that you've got it, that you've got the I don't want to say right, but that's what is coming through us, like the right um, direction of what you're creating, right? You want something that makes you feel elated, happy, joyous, right? It's not just okay. It's not just, just a little bit better. It's like amazing. Yes, like this makes me happy. Woohoo! Like that, right? So your cheeks are brimming and your smile is up. And now you know that that's the creation that really is going to bring you forward to the life that you want to create. And now in this moment, I'm creating a vortex. I'm opening the vortex for you to jump in there and be pulled with the energy towards this place that you are creating. So see yourself there. It could be something physical. Let's say you want to be healthier or you want to see yourself strong, or you want to see yourself 
traveling or you want to see yourself with a partner or you want to see yourself really abundant and successful maybe you want to see yourself on like a first class airplane going to a beautiful place or you want, maybe you want to see yourself on an island right so whatever it is like have that vision and in this vortex you are literally traveling to that place right now whatever it is that you're imagining yourself your body to be and this space this space of joy that you are creating right now as i'm holding space for you and helping you maintain this level of frequency which is a very high frequency this is what you want to bring back to you whenever something shows up so the next time you have a challenge something shows up and you're okay here it is dealing with it what do i need to do that's been the first question what do i need to do what's the action for me to do in order to resolve this and then you do that and then you immediately come back to this space to this vision to this vortex seeing yourself there right and the challenge may have absolutely nothing to do with the vision that you're just creating right now of yourself but it doesn't matter because challenges are going to come at all different levels from all different directions to distract you from your goal to distract you from where you want to go so you deal with what's happening you take care of it you take action but you do it quickly you don't dwell on it you don't repeat the story you don't tell your friends and your parents and your and your siblings and everybody else what happened to you that is so unjust you just deal with it you do what you have to do and then you go right back to that vision and when you get right back to that vision your energy your frequency goes up your smile moves back up from that frown right and then you know that you've just shifted you left that back in the 3d and you are creating now your future your 5d of heaven and earth right here you bring yourself there and then when you do meet your family your friends or whomever it is you get to tell them that story no you don't have to tell them exactly what your dream is because muggles tend to kill them you don't know what muggles are right um and so you don't need to tell them exactly the actual thing but you can tell them how you're feeling how excited you are how life is amazing how everything's working out for you because you're actually feeling this way and they might look at you like you have three heads especially if something big happened that is kind of like messed up and they're looking at you like haven't you looked at the news no, I haven't looked at the news or yes, I have and I've moved on from that and now here's my reality, right? Because what happens is when you are living in that imagination that you just created, right? You're creating your future through your imagination. When you are living there, what's happening is that everything that's happening around you in the 3D world, everything that's like not as nice or as pleasant to a lot of people, does not exist in your world this is why it feels far away or you feel detached or you feel like you're not one to react to it or you feel like oh yeah that happened it's almost like a movie like a far movie that's happening because it's not really happening in your reality your reality what's happening is all the steps for you to get to what you are creating from that space of nothingness from the space where nothing exists until you give it birth and you give it birth by giving it thought by giving it intention by making that imagination by talking about it that's how you create it so don't go into repeating the things that aren't good or favorable or don't feel good because when you repeat them what are you doing you're putting yourself in that place of creation and you are creating it as a part of your reality is opposed to someone else's reality right so this is when if you have heard of this the split earths right the two earths are splitting so the 3d is staying the 5d is moving up right and it's splitting out that's what it means and we're going up and down or from one to the other every moment right so when something happens and we feel down or we feel like oh i can't take it anymore where do you think you're living 3d and when you are able to move forward and begin dreaming again 
you're meditating, you're, you're following your dream, you're writing, you're doing the things that you want, you're engaging in things that bring you joy, you are bringing yourself to the 5D. So it's this way of being, uh, of moving back and forth. And what you want to do is to remain longer, a longer period of time in the 5D than you do on the 3D. So that's the healing that came through today. I hope that this has really helped you. If you're catching this uh, in my future, your present, let me know how you felt. Let me know if you want to share what your vision is, only if you want to, or how it made you feel. Um, yeah, share about it because when you do that, you solidify your own dream. All right, guys, I love you. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.